Hi, my name is Mr. Steve, and I am so glad you're joining us. Today, we're going to talk about what the Bible means when we read the words, we are made alive in Christ. First, we must remember that in the Garden of Eden, which was God's perfect home for his most wonderful creation, us, that Adam and Eve disobeyed God. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God, sin entered the world. And with it, sickness, death, and all sorts of other bad things. And since God is absolutely holy, he can't have any sin in his presence. So Adam and Eve were separated from God. This separation from God is what the Bible calls spiritual death. But God had a plan to fix everything. And that plan was Jesus. Through accepting Jesus into our hearts, believing in his death, burial, and resurrection, that relationship between man and God is repaired. So why is that considered to be made alive? Well, before Jesus, the Bible talks about how we were dead in sins we walked in, following the things of the world, carrying out desires of the body and the mind like the rest of mankind. Here it's talking about being separated from God when we follow the worldly things. You know, the bad things we shouldn't do. But when God sent Jesus, he made a way for us to be free from that sin. By receiving Christ as our Savior, that bad stuff dies and we are made alive or born again in the things of God. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. Our old sinful self is dead and gone and we are made alive with the new life that only Jesus can give. Let's take some time together to pray and thank God for this new life. Father, we thank you that you loved us so much that even when we disobeyed, you still wanted us in your family. You sent your son Jesus and by his death on the cross and his resurrection, he defeated that spiritual death and created a way for us to have a made alive life and repair the relationship with you. We thank you, we honor you, and we glorify you. And for all the blessings that we have in our life, we'll be careful to give you all the praise. Amen.